All right, so in a previous video, I showed you how you could use a very simple pattern to build a major scale and all of its chords starting from any note on the keyboard. In this video, I'm gonna show you a similar pattern that can be used to build a minor scale out of any note on the keyboard. Now, there are several different kinds of minor scales, but the one I'll be talking about today is the natural minor, which is the most common and in my opinion, most useful minor scale to know. So let's get started by picking the A note. I'm going to do this because the A minor scale uses all white notes and is just easy to see. So with the A, the pattern we're going to follow is we're going to move up a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, then a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, and then one more whole step, which brings us back to where we started at the A. And this brings us to the natural minor scale. And this pattern can be used in any note. So let's pick a random note. Looks like I got D. We're gonna move up a whole step, a half step, full step, full step, half step, full step, and then one last full step. And this brings us to the D minor scale. So once we have our minor scale, the next natural step is to build the chords out of this scale. So we're going to use the same exact pattern I used in a previous video, which is pick your note, skip the note after it, add the note after that. So skip the second, add the third, skip the fourth, add the fifth. So that would give us an E. Following this pattern, B would skip the C, add the D, skip the E, add the F. And this pattern just follows until we have all our chords. Let's give these a listen. And there we go. Those are the diatonic chords of the minor scale, or the natural minor scale. In other words, those are the chords that just naturally occur within this scale. Now, just like the major scale, since every natural minor scale is built using the same patterns, that also means that every single chord is going to follow the same order in every single minor scale. So starting with the A minor chord, the order goes minor 1, diminished 2, then it's going to be a major 3, then a minor 4, then a minor 5, then a major 6, and then finally a major 7. And then of course, if you just keep following that pattern, it would go back to the minor 1. So there you have it. With those two simple patterns, you can create a minor scale in all of its chords, starting with just one single note. So thanks for watching this video. There are detailed notes on everything we discussed in the description of the video, in case you'd like to copy and paste them for future reference. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos, just let me know in the comments. But for now, have a great day, and keep on writing.